Hi, I'm Dr. Rebecca Stachniak. I'm a neurosurgeon here in Plano, Texas, and I've been here for almost 20 years. I practice general neurosurgery. I do a combination of brain and spine, and I take care of all general traumatic degenerative kinds of problems. I went to college out east at Colgate University, and then I came down to Texas, and that's my connection. I went to medical school here and I did an MS with my MD in molecular biology. And then I chose to go back out east to the University of Florida and train out there for my residency and then also a fellowship in critical care medicine. I always knew I wanted to be a doctor from the time that I was a little girl. My dad was a dentist and he had a wonderful career taking care of people. And I think that he had a big effect on me wanting to become a doctor myself. And I think I knew even by the time I was in high school that I wanted to be a doctor. And I actually never changed my mind. I think people have confusion about neurosurgery. It's not an uncommon kind of question that people have problems with. I think everyone knows that we operate on brains, but Many people, I think, are unsure or unaware of the fact that we operate on all kinds of spinal disorders and even other kinds of peripheral nerve problems, basically anywhere in the body where you have a nerve. We regularly take care of people with brain tumors and people with any kind of spine problem, and that includes all kinds of cervical problems, your upper neck, thoracic problems, and your mid-back and lumbar problems in your lower back. Very young into my private practice career, I had opportunities to get involved in research, and I think that that fostered my long-term career in spine surgery. I've been a consultant to major companies. I've taught in six of the seven continents, and I've spent a lifetime teaching spine surgeons. I've also been lucky enough to be involved in seven different FDA studies, and. I think that cemented my long-term clinical and research interest in spine. I've had many influences during my career. I was lucky enough to train under Dr. Albert Roten as my chairman, and I was fortunate enough to have several fantastic faculty members who all helped shape the kind of neurosurgeon that I was going to be. Um, I believe I've had lots of fortunate relationships with some other fantastic neurosurgeons doing research with them and have formed friendships with them over time as a result. But I think you get affected by everybody that you come into contact with over the course of your life. Two women come to mind that I've helped in the recent past. One was a wonderful lady who's in her early 30s, who is an accountant, um, married, and trying to have children who unfortunately developed a very large tumor and we were able to resect it completely with a follow-up radiation and chemotherapy and she's doing very well, still working, trying to still have a baby some two years out from having a very malignant brain tumor. But a more heartwarming version of that is a young girl that I recently saw who is 25 years old that I operated on within the last few weeks. And she'd been having horrible headaches and double vision for a long period of time, but people had written it off to migraines. And eventually she came in and she had an MRI and it showed a giant tumor in her frontal lobe. We recently had her come into the hospital and had to resect it. It was very heartwarming. Her fiance was a very sweet person and he told us he didn't really care about anything else. He just wanted to be able to walk down the aisle with her in two months in May. And we were able to get a great resection on her and get her tumor completely removed. And she's doing fantastic. And she's talked to me about her bridesmaid dresses and all of her plans for her wedding coming up in May. And it's a nice thing when you can have a relationship with your doctor where they know you and your family and they've treated you and many of your other family members. And I think that that's a situation and an environment where you can feel very safe. It's nice to have accolades. However, I always think that the fact that my patients think so much of me 
that they want to send their family members, I think is maybe the greatest accolade that you can possibly get as a doctor.